just getting set up. Uh, I'm out at the lake there. Probably about another uh, 25 vehicles here. There's another access to the lake. Probably there's a, at least this many vehicles lined up and out there fishing. Got my snow machine warming up here. A few things in my sleigh. Some water, some ginger ale, some uh, food in the box. And then here uh, I got the power head for my auger. It's a custom rack that I made to hold a five gallon of gas and some stuff. It's a 95 Articat Panther Deluxe. It's got a 440 two stroke engine. Twin, reverse, hand warmers, thumb warmer. It's a good machine. Those are my ramps. I got some gas for my auger and some gas for the snow machine, but I probably won't need it. So anyways, uh, I'm going to get my helmet on and uh, make one trip out. And then come back for another trip. Here I am out at my hut. Uh, some of my neighbors over there. The little village over there. Shut the snow machine off. This is my hut here. My little ice fishing tent. I left it up. No one bothered it. I'll open up the hut. stove my stairs all the my blocking material to keep the hut up off the ice because uh, slush comes up and I'll show you how the slush comes up because there's more weight on the ice throughout the winter and snow uh, weighs the ice down because snow the ice is actually floating on top of the water you get pressure cracks you can see this crack extends way the hell over there and uh, oh there's someone driving by on the truck extends way over that way too so uh, when you get a pressure crack like that the water will come up in between the crack on top of the ice so you get anywhere between uh, a couple of inches to a foot of water on top of the ice so if your hut's sitting on the ice and it freezes in there have fun getting it out Anyways, these are my old holes. I had a bunch of people out last week. We were fishing. But anyways, I'll get set up and make another trip uh, out with this my gear. This is the inside of my hut. Not very big. Up here we make uh, bunks and benches here. I uh, have wood and paper and stuff in there. There's the stove. And we just caught a pickerel. We're all set up. That's my daughter, Shaylin, running around on the skidoo. In the Arctic cat. My neighbor over here, uh, it's a guy I know from work, he, he's been getting bites too. And we just caught a decent sized pickerel. It's flopping around here. One. Decent size, not real big, but not uh, the tiniest one. I like it. You gotta, you gotta add more to that to make a supper. Yeah. But uh, you can get better eating fish. Real pickerel. Walleye These are all the, the lines set it up here. Pickerel. Called tip ups. Two different kinds. Some are homemade and some are store bought. I just caught a, a sauger now. You can see he's quite a bit smaller. And you can notice the, uh, the difference between the sauger and the pickerel. 
fish is shaped the same way and they look the same but the uh, pickerel has a gold goldish color to it and the sauger is a gray and white color and I damaged them quite a bit there when I took the hook out because he swallowed it right down but still tastes the same in the pan well we ended up catching uh, three pickerel one was the decent size two were small and one pike I cleaned them all up already and they're ready to go I'm starting to get dark see the sun setting over there still some people out the kids had fun driving around on the snow machine well it's morning uh, I actually won't say what time it is in the morning because it's pretty late but I didn't feel like getting up and doing anything so I'm up now I got some water on uh, just uh, wash the dishes and uh, got the fire going stoked up pretty good there cleaned everything up put my bunk away put my blankets away and everything I went out drilled some holes within two minutes I caught a little pike there I'll take you outside and show you now, this is a pretty small fish I mean it's almost not even worth keeping but you guys are wondering what a pike is this is about a pound and a half I'd say It'd be maybe two pounds he was a very aggressive he wouldn't op keep his mouth open to uh, get the hook out he uh, still got a bit of life in him over here show you what I'm using to, uh, to catch them I'm using a pickerel rig or pickerel jig as some people call it you can see that very well at the bottom there's a sinker it comes up there's a, a hook and it can swivel around the line so you, you hook your live bait and your bait can actually swim around and there's two hooks one set low one set high the pike, that little guy right there, had both the minnows, both the hooks were set in them. So I had quite the fun uh, trying to get them out. And the water here is about uh, six feet deep. So I'll get this one set back up with some fresh minnows and drop her back down the hole. And maybe I'll get lucky again.